Richie, thanks for joining us. Congratulations. Three points and three special goals. Yeah, we actually missed the easy ones. We had a couple of one-on-ones, a few cutbacks. Um, we could have scored a few more goals today, but three great finishes. I have to say that they could have scored three or four themselves. They missed some good chances. Um, disappointed with the one at the end because we wanted a clean sheet. However, um, difficult circumstances because we've asked the players to go week in, week out all year. Um, and it's the first game that we, we, we've played where we can't really achieve anything. So um, we also respect the, the league and respect the other teams down there. So we picked a strong team today. We give Zeka Birio obviously a start, 18 years old. So all in all, a good day. And he impressed, didn't he, the youngster? Yeah, he was. He can handle the ball. And people will be people will be um, saying, oh, you know, he deserves a start because he can handle the ball. And you see that. But that's not the pleasing thing for me. It's a Jules... I think the I think the first goal comes from him. The ball's bouncing in the middle of the pitch. He doesn't know what's around him, so he puts it in behind. He makes a good decision. So I think I'm pleased, the thing I'm most pleased about is decision making and his duels in midfield. Um, it's something that he can improve. But in this league, you can't just be a passer of the ball. You look at the, the, the best midfield players. You look at someone like a Marlon Pack. He's a good good footballer. He can handle the ball, but he also wins duels and uh, Zek. Has, has got the ability and if he can start winning the duels and, and the game management and his decision making along with that then he's, he's, he's got a right chance There were three contenders possibly for the goal of the season competition it's uh, maybe Carl Braith no I think the keeper should save it uh, Ollie O'Neill is obviously good because we're right behind it um, and Ruel actually woke up because Ruel was a bit sulky today his body language and his reactions weren't great I weren't happy with him but I know he's got a goal in him so um I'm pleased that he finished, but again, he still needs to be better to get to his next level and to take us to the next level. We still that game should be more comfortable. We should have all the possession. We should be controlled, and if we ever can see chances, it should be there. Really good play through picking us off. The chances come from just breaking, just running through the middle of the pitch because our lack of discipline. Obviously, we're not very experienced in the middle of midfield, but giving too many chances away um, and against better opposition. I'm not. That's not no disrespect, but. They should have scored four today. No, we could have scored four or five, but we don't want to... When you get in a position where you're freeing up, you shouldn't be giving chances where you're just getting counted on easy. There's been a couple of difficult moments in the last couple of games for Sol Why are you saying that? Because you just walked past. Sol's <laughs> so, so, a young goalkeeper. What do you expect him to do? I remember Man United time, Peter Schmeichel, he was throwing a few in. Um, you put the Premier League on this weekend, the Premier League goalkeepers will make mistakes. If they make mistakes, then... Invariably, it costs you a goal. So, we've got a lot of confidence in Sol. This is his first season. Again, this is his first season in League One, and I think all in all, he can be proud of his performances. And I think he's a really, really good goalkeeper in there. Waited a while to see Jack Simpson, but he came on and impressed in the second half. No, I think straight away you look at him, and he's brilliant on the ball. He gives you composure. He gives you obviously a good size, and he gives you really good composure. He's balanced with his left sat with his left foot, but he's not played for a long, long time. So when I just mentioned the duels and the physicality about Zek, you can obviously see it sometimes when he's running laterally and he's got a cover. He's not quite there yet, but we expected that. But we think we've got a really, really good player. And I think definitely on a ball, you can see his class straight away. Jaden Sweeney didn't feature on the bench? Yeah, we've got we've got Saturday, um, Saturday, Tuesday. We picked a game. We knew that they were going to play a five. And then when you play against a, a five... They've got a decision to make. Did he go in a, a line of five against our three? That means we've got seven v five in the rest of the pitch and we can dominate the ball. Or if their wingers, sorry, their wing backs jump, then we needed ball manipulators to connect the game for us. Our full backs were going to be big today. And I think in terms of the, the first goal where our eight runs on and our full back comes in and scores, that was the game plan. So sometimes it's not Jane will start on, on, on Tuesday because he done he done great against Peterborough. Um don't know why you're asking the question to be honest because it's my decision that I make to pick the best team to, to get us three points I suppose I was asking to see if he was okay in terms of Fine. injuries and things and on Tuesday will other youngsters get a chance? Mate, the, the reason why Zek gets a chance is because he was four or five youngsters that I went to, to watch against Brentford B on what day is it? Tuesday I think it was Tuesday uh, what day is it Saturday isn't it? Anyway, we played Brentford B the other day I can't remember the same night as what Derby played Portsmouth Um and Zek for me was the best player on the pitch so he deserved his chance these other youngsters that have been watching us for a year that don't get the press that don't do the things that we want them to do and it's very very difficult for me to give them because I still want to finish the season strong 
for me next season started today and I still want the mentality and the standards to be really really high what it was, I wanted to be exciting today because the fans have paid their hard earned money all year and I wanted to entertain I thought it was an entertaining game too open at times for my liking but youngsters will get will get more opportunities I'm not scared of putting youngsters in we've got one of the youngest I see stats that um, about the youngest squads in, in league our squad is clouded massively by Pratt's Pratt's puts like six years on so but it's not just the the, the age it's the experience at the level so Peterborough are really really young but we've also got players that are playing in, in a promotion team and the championship at 19 20, 21. so although their age might be younger than ours take away Pratt's and, and Beck's I would say that our age is similar but it's the experience at the level what, what, when I come, when I talk about inexperience and this year we'll we'll put real good seeds in place for them young players to develop as, as, as obviously they move on to next year I understand he's not been well recently. Is Darren practically in contention for Tuesday? yesterday. He wasn't. He wasn't right for the squad. So we just thought, you know, when you felt like that sometimes, just a good running session that can clear him out. So I spoke to him before the game. He, he had a hard session, so he'll be he'll be probably back in the squad Tuesday. And finally, uh, any injuries picked up today? No, not today. We, we obviously had a, a strong bench, and when you can put Dan Aggie, Shaq Ford on for the last 25, it gives you explosive power at the top end of the pitch where. Um, you know, any, obviously we can play through teams. I thought we was, some of our football was really good today. But any ricochet, any ball that lands in the middle of the pitch within one pass, you can be at their goal. So I think obviously we've missed Dan massively. I think he's a, he's capable of scoring 20 goals in this league. So um, hopefully he can finish the season off strong with confidence, get a few more goals, and then enjoy his holidays and come back and be a big player for us next year.